team, welcome back to Ask Top, sponsored by MentorMilitary.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about little known facts about revocation of privileges. For those of you that don't know me, I am your host, Command Sergeant Major Retired Mark Barrett. Now, what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind, is reach down right now and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of our videos. Follow us on uh, Facebook at Ask Top and Mentor Military. And with the commercial out of the way, let's jump into the class. So little known facts about revocation of privileges. We have three references that give us the authority and the background to uh, revoke privileges. When is it used? When counseling and corrective training have failed. Or you can use it in conjunction with corrective training. Use it before considering UCMJ when appropriate. There may be uh, situations where you need to go straight to UCMJ. But Article 15s have second order consequences. It could affect promotion and retention. Uh, example, soldiers consistently late to work, but otherwise great soldier. Uh, so they go straight to a summary Article 15, soldier gets summary Article 15, serves the punishment. Eight months later, it's time to re-enlist. Re-enlistment slots are uh, a precious commodity. Battalion commander says, hey, you got a summary Article 15? Uh, he's not going to re-enlist. He's going to ETS. Now, the company commander and first sergeant go up and fight for this soldier. He's a great soldier. Battalion commander says if he was a great soldier, he wouldn't have got a summary Article 15. Understand the second order consequences of your decisions. Your decisions have unintended consequences. Now, who can do what? Commanders who possess the authority can suspend a privilege. Company commanders can suspend past privileges. Garrison commanders typically suspend PX privileges. Leaders recommend. Commanders revoke. Let's look at some privileges. Um, we're going to go through these kind of quickly because I'm going to explain each one of them individually. Pass, civilian, clothing, personal property, driving, PX, commissary, alcohol. Now, I want to be specific about property. We cannot take an individual's property. We can only give them an order not to use the property. So let me be very clear. You cannot confiscate or take personal property. MWR privileges, off-post living privileges, visitation, tobacco, weapons, off-duty employment, and unit sports. This is one of the most underutilized tools that leaders have to correct substandard performance. Now, these are not all the past privileges. You can be very creative. Almost everything can be related to a privilege. Think about that. And if you got questions, if you know you're not sure about something, contact the IG. You know, run it by the IG. Make them your friends so that if a soldier decides to contact the IG, they're like, yeah, absolutely, they can do that. So let's go through some examples. Pass privileges. Soldiers late for work. Commander revokes pass privileges. They can't go off post. Civilian clothing. Let's say the soldier consistently presents a um, bad appearance in military clothing. Looks like they've been hit by a wrinkled cluster bomb at close range. Civilian clothing. They can get an order not to wear their civilian clothing. Personal property. They play their stereo loudly or not to use it. Again, you can't take it. Driving, DUI, too many tickets, not wearing your seatbelt, uh, can revoke off, excuse me, on post driving privileges. Commissary PX, shoplifting, abuse of a store worker. Um, soldiers really understand loss of time and pay. When you take their time from them, they tend to concentrate on what they were doing and make sure they don't do it again. So off-post living privileges, late for work, domestic violence um, are some possibilities. Visitation privileges, they violate the policy, they allow unauthorized people on base, 
or to access a, a facility. Tobacco, smoking in an unauthorized area, throwing or spitting tobacco products on the ground. Weapons, personal weapons, violation of weapons policy, domestic violence. Now, with domestic violence, it could also um, trigger the Lautenberg Amendment, which means they can't uh, uh, use military weapons either. Again, almost everything can be related to a privilege. Off-duty employment. If it's a conflict of interest, if they're late for work, there's plenty of ways that uh, off-duty employment can be handled. Unit sports, abuse of MWR privileges, PT failure. Alcohol, supplying alcohol to an underage soldier, you're drunk, uh, you're in violation of the alcohol policy. MWR, abuse of the equipment or abuse of personnel. Now, again, be creative. Think through these things. These are the major ones I could come up with that I use during my time um, in the military. When you are implementing this, make sure you treat that soldier with dignity and respect. This isn't punishment. This is to get across a point to make them understand and correct substandard performance. Use it as a teaching, coaching, and mentoring event. Once the deficiency is corrected, restore the privilege. That could be a day, it could be a week, it could be two months. Evaluate it daily. Do not use it as a chance to belittle or be vindictive. That is not the point of revocation of privileges. It needs to be monitored. So what we talk about today, when you use it, who can implement it, basically leaders recommend, commanders revoke. We went through a list of privileges, but it was not a complete list. We gave you some examples and everything can be related to a privilege. And this is a powerful leadership tool that's underutilized. So I hope you got something today out of revocation of privileges. Uh, as I keep harping on, it is an underutilized tool that soldiers really understand and take to heart. Reach out to us on Facebook. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know if there's any classes you'd like to see. Uh, we've got some interviews coming up. Uh, talk to us on Facebook at Ask Top and Mentor Military. Don't forget to subscribe to Mentor Military YouTube channel. And for your professional development needs, reach out to us at MentorMilitary.com. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.